Good morning, soybean farmer here. Uh, November the 16th here on the little farm. I'm still working on my new plow project. I've uh, used a breaker bar and extension pipe and I actually got all four of the uh, nuts to break loose on the plow boats that are holding the uh, rock shear onto this. So I'm gonna try the impact wrench and see if it'll bring them off. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's an update as to where we're at. I realize now it was a mistake to put that impact wrench on these plow bolts on this rock shear. Um, with the pull bar, I had the nuts turning, but uh, the impact wrench rounded off the square bolt section of the plow bolt. So I've taken a grinder and I've actually ground three of them out but I'm going through grinding wheels, so that's not really good technique. So I'm trying this technique. I'm gonna, uh, this last remaining uh, plow bolt, <clears throat> I'm trying to drill it out. So uh, I've already got a hole through it with, uh, with two size bits, I'm upstaging. So let's see what this one does going through. Okay. Don't look good on camera. Uh, <clears throat> my hand hit the lock and I locked it on. That's a Milwaukee drill, variable current motor. Very, very powerful drill. Just broke another drill bit. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we're back with a bigger drill bit that should actually now take the head off and let me get this piece off this time gonna be more careful about not touching that uh, switch that locks the drill on. Okay, there's one with the uh, rock guard, shin, mold board removed, cleaned up, and ready to have the new parts put on it. Uh, 
after what all I went through with getting this off, what I learned, if I can get the nuts to turn, don't put impact wrench on it. That's uh, too much force. It tears up the square head on the plow bolt. Just keep turning the, the uh, nuts off with the pull bar. But once you've messed up the uh, head on the plow bolt, drilling them out seem to be the best way to go. Just need to be a little more careful with the drill and not uh, hit the lock switch and lock it in the on position. But uh, now let's go get some new parts and put this thing back together. See what it looks like with new stuff on it. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm somewhat delighted. I've just got the uh, three pieces, the mold board, the shin, and the uh, rock shear assembled onto this plow. Three brand new pieces there. And I talked to Agri Supply this morning and they're going to let me come back up to the store and buy the other three mold boards I need. They're, they're not in the store in stock. Shipping on those things because of the weight would be about $50. But Agri Supply is so cool, they're going to get them shipped to the store and let me pick them up when they come in. And that place is kind of sort of on the way to work. But I'm tickled to death with this. It was a job. I think drilling the bolts out was probably the most effective way to go with this. Um, these old, they're just rusted solid and everything else I tried was, well, just something to try. But it's cool. Got it done. Got one done. One down, three to go. Because before I put this back in the field, I'm going to have all new steel on it to put in the dirt. These bolts are confusing because, uh, like, the rock shear, the three bolts on the left are small. The last bolt over there on the right is large. Um... Same thing with the mold board. Three down at the bottom and the one straight up are small. The one over here on the far left at the top is large. So, just glad that the bags had the part numbers on them and I had the diagram printed out in my notebook and I could look at it and get them in the right place at the first time. <clears throat> this, uh, this over here, that was a trip to get in there. Now, none of these are tight. They're all hand tight right now. So. And come back and tighten them up and then I'll be actually finished probably go eat lunch but that right there that was a trip the only way I could do it was hold the nut with my finger slip the bolt through and actually turn the bolt and uh, praise Jesus and got it in there but that looks pretty cool to me uh, brand new all brand new bolts nuts still got to find this piece here um, thinking about pulling one of these off here and painting it moving it over here but that's just stupid work to do that I will eventually find one and replace that well I think I've joined the I built a plow club <laughs> it's one thing about farming you know if somebody was to ask me uh, about getting into farming first thing I'd say is do you like working on stuff machines equipment do you like fixing things figuring out how to fix things well if you like that let's talk because <laughs> the whole farming adventure is full of uh, oh got to fix this it's just like this over here I'm really annoyed with it and this morning it ticked me off so bad I went ahead and pulled the cover off but there's a wire 